Hello everyone, this is Overclocked. Welcome to a game called Scrap Mechanic. It's one I played a lot, and one of the issues is, is I, for a YouTube series, I think it'd be nice to earn all my clothes and stuff off camera, but I've literally earned all of them. Um, I did hear, if I simply delete this file while the game is running, it all goes away. Oh, oh, wow, that's kind of instant. All right, let me go ahead and make sure that I get all the starting stuff. Yeah. I don't mind re-earning it. Everything else is already unlocked. Okay. <clears throat> We're going to be doing a survival game. Wow, it's been a while since I played. Uh, let me pick a new. Hmm, I'm bad with names. I always feel like something needs to be used a lot. You might see this name a lot on future videos. Elor. I don't know where I got that from. I actually think it was one of my home systems in EVE Online once, and I've been using that name for my world names for a long time. Like, that place, that name means home to me. I don't know. I'll just call this Overclocked. And new game. Let's see where it lands me. Well, I mean, I know where I'm going to land right next to the ship. I mean, let's see what the, the world is. You can't enter in seeds or anything even though it is randomly generated kind of like minecraft <clears throat> while it's loading i also want to mention that i am sorry that i haven't been uploading some of the other series too much in fact i haven't been uploading much at all recently that would mostly be because um i was having an issue with covid 19 i was sick not really anything super bad. In fact, I've had colds that were worse except for one thing, and that's fatigue. I just couldn't stop wanting to sleep. And not wanting to do nothing but sleep for a week kind of put a lot of things on pause. That To me, that's the main thing is the fatigue. But <clears throat> that aside... Um... The other thing was, is but right before that happened, was, oh, did my characters, or my options get reset? Yeah. I want everything on the highest setting. <clears throat> like I was just about to mention, that the field, I don't like that. Um, I was upgrading my computer. So, I didn't have a, a computer for a bit as half of it was taken apart to add in new parts. I think I mentioned that at some point in a previous episode. Um, I should never have any problems with gaming at all. 60. There we go. Because I have like the best of the best right now. A AMD 6900 XT. It's uh, the Red Devil Ultimate or whatever edition. Let me go ahead and get that bucket from the lake. And a for my processor, I have an AMD 5950X. Uh, I don't have it, anything overclocked or anything, which I know I should, but it's already just powerful enough. And when the parts are this expensive, I'd rather just... Let the glory of the parts current power shine while also keeping their lifespan at normal. I, I don't need any extra power for the, this computer. At least I shouldn't. Um, but anyway, enough about all that. I'm playing this game and let's talk about this. If anyone doesn't know what Scrap Mechanic is, it's a... I don't want to compare it to Minecraft. I feel like I compare too many games to Minecraft when it's open world and 
you can build. Um, it's it's an open world just survival game. Well, it doesn't have to be just survival. There's also like a a challenge mode where you. But the main thing is is how creative you can build. Um, Wow, I am not having a good start here, am I? My brain is still... Still kind of recollect itself. I, I haven't really recorded in quite a while. In fact, I haven't even been talking much for quite a while. Okay. Fresh start. This is Scrap Mechanic. I really enjoy this game. Uh, the game doesn't have too many objectives. Uh, I don't know if there's an in-game yet. If you saw my world creation part, it's been a few months. I don't know if there's been any updates. I mean, I'm sure there's been updates. I just haven't been paying attention to them. Um, with all the fires out, let me go ahead and move forward here right now I would say like the the best like in-game result unless it's changed is to get to the top of a warehouse um, there's a few warehouses but it, it doesn't have to be like a major goal this game is just about exploring collecting resources mostly collecting resources in fact, most of the time you're playing, you're collecting resources, like what I'm doing now. Um, this is the starting area, so there's some more crates kind of lined up here that leads you to this building. And, of course, you know, any good gamer would want to check out this building a bit more, so... Um, I forget. Oh, yeah, you do go up the ladder, or the stairs. I was thinking that this pipe was somewhere else on the ground and the stairs were just like they led nowhere broken all right uh, these are the enemies I think there's four enemies in the game ones with these uh, I think I would call them like cattle bots I don't know their actual names I think those ones are cattle because I think they're supposed to direct cattle like they have the whip on them and oh these are from farming bots luckily they're just sitting here this is how you can get some metal which you use as building materials um one of the things about scrap mechanic is it's how creative you can build vehicles in fact i think that's like the main appeal of the game oh this is a battery we need that for the ship oh is this a golden one? Or am I just blind? Uh, food is good. Variants are good. Let's keep looking around. Um, What was I previously talking about? Before... Oh yeah, the building. Um, Base building in this game is kind of a pain because of how expensive resources can be. Uh, because they just need a lot of blocks. Like, a lot, a lot of blocks. But, uh, the vehicles. And you can get really, really good with them. Especially if you're good with the, uh, like, the logic controllers and stuff like that. Oops. Um. Oh, there's a way to get up. Uh, when you first start the game, the two like immediate things in your inventory is the hammer which is of course for breaking things but you also have this lift which you can use to go up and down on and it's also a way to carry your vehicles or to lift up your vehicle when you're working on it you'll definitely see this get used a lot ah one more crate um not seeing too much. Oops. Yeah, I'm just gonna jump down. Oh. Uh, apparently, you can fall through that part. 
Let's see, is there another safe way down? Nope. But I survived, so it all worked out. Ooh, another crate hidden right here. I'm not finding a whole lot of what I want, but I am glad that I'm finding food. Food is really important at this point. Got to collect everything. Now, I think I'm just going to make a dash to the workshop and have that as my base for a while. Some people like to sit here and build a car and then take what they can and drive it over. <laughs> I feel like that'd be mostly a waste of time. Which means I probably wouldn't need to be putting this battery in here, but it does allow me to get access to this, the journal. Or logbook. Which is pretty important. So I'm not going to be constructing anything. I am going to be taking some items like radio. Um, I guess I could take a microwave. I'll take this thing. I'll take it all. Not 100% sure what is all in here to take. Um, let's see. I think I got all of it. Oh, no. There's definitely some more stuff here. Let me go ahead and get my hammer so that ghost object's out of the way. Ooh. Can I take those lights? Oh, I can't. All right, let's go ahead and start making... Oh, let me loot the starting area over here for farming. I do like how this game doesn't have a tutorial. It's like old school where, you know, you use the environment. Like, it kind of just tells you what you're supposed to do without, like, you have to do this before moving on to the next step. And it's like this arrow pointing like a UI and you have to do it before moving on. Let's see. I don't need all of this stuff. I don't think I have the inventory space for all this stuff. I will take the seeds. Oh, this is a farm bot or a, a hay bot. I think the farm bots are the ones that are called or the big red ones. Here we go. More metal. Alright. And I'll take these seeds here. I don't care about any of the rest of the stuff, really. A lot of that stuff is really easy to come by and cheap. The biggest, hardest resource to come by, I would say, is component kits. Those are the things that you spend most of your time looking for. And when you're looking for those, everything else just kind of comes. So, yeah, simple things that just cost like one scrap metal to create. I'm not going to load up my inventory quite yet. I know a lot of people tend to want to collect absolutely everything that's possible. I'm not like that. At least not in this game. Because... There's only a few things that I definitely feel like I need to be carrying everywhere. Alright. I'm definitely not the best fighter. Hopefully I can get a spud gun sooner than later. I wouldn't mind trying to blitz a spud gun. It is... Even just the base spud gun makes a huge difference when it comes to surviving. I don't remember what it takes to... Oops. Get it? I don't know if it requires any hard crops to farm. I do believe it needs to find a lost farmer. Have I found everything down on the first floor? No, I have not. 
can't wait till I get my first car. Actually, my real thing is I can't wait to get some storage. Storage is going to be what I'm going to want most. Um, don't need any chemicals. Let's go ahead and get up here. Oh, right. Have to jump over first. You could just run up this uh, tube here if you wanted to run around the building. Ah, missed that. Oops. Oh, another hay bot. Let me go and get that. Two of them. Come on. Yeah. Component kits. Love those. This wasn't really a game I was planning on recording, but I did feel like wanting to watch another Let's Play of it. And I realized that there have not been many people playing this game, and it wouldn't hurt to have some more playlists out there of people just enjoying survival. Uh, let's go ahead and try to get back up here. It was like the last item to do before I head to the workshop. Aye. Right. Now, how do I want to get over there? Oh, that was easy. Oh, I didn't even need that. Let me go ahead and put that in there so I don't get pushed off from the support beam. Something fell. A component kit. I gotta make sure I get that. Let's hope I don't forget. I have the worst memory in the world. More and more metal. That's good. Oh, more gas, which is really good at the start. Uh, when this first game first came out, there was no easy way to get gas, and it was like a huge pain. I'm guessing most people that would care to be watching a series like this would already know that, because they like the game because they've already played it. Or some people are new to the game. I would definitely recommend it. Um, is there a way to go higher? I'm not sure. Um, there's an easy way to find out. Yeah, I'll go ahead and check. Let me grab this first before I forget. I'm going to go ahead and eat a beet. Red beet. You do have to pay attention to your food. Some food items, almost everything gives you a bit of food and a bit of water. But some give you more food than water and some give you more water than food. Um... Where is... I'll use these. I'll build my way up. I'll start from over here. Next to this... Pathway. Oh. I am just not doing well. Alright. Let's get in here this time. <laughs> you know what? At this point, for some reason, I'm just super bad at it. So I'm going to walk around, and that should save me time. Here we go. Now I'm going to take a bunch of these blocks. First thing I'm going to do... Just dig out there. Then, from here, I'm going to build up. And, oh, dang it. Dang it! Ah, can't believe I'm recording this. Showing the whole world how bad I am at the simple... What is that? Oh, a crate. All right, one more time. Let's not screw it up. Oh, 
Okay, next time for sure. I, I don't know what's wrong with me right now. I'll definitely get on the roof. Although it, I did not really see anything at first glance that would make me feel like I need to get up there. But I just want to be thorough. Oh, that pushed me off. All right. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be anything on the roof. It's a waste of time, but now everybody knows, especially me. Let's go ahead and get all this back. And that's how you, oh. Dang it. I might be able to just uh, reach from here. Yeah. All right. Let's go ahead and head to the mechanic station. It's usually always just down the road if you follow it. But first, do I have space? Not much. I can eat a beat. That'll free up a slot. I'm going to go ahead and break this, but I'm also going to look for some honeycombs along the way. Because I really hate the scrap tires. Like, I don't ever want to deal with the scrap tires. Scrap tires are something I'm just going to skip. Yes, I have one in my inventory. I don't know why. If I had to throw something away, that would probably be the next thing. All right. Uh, oh, there's some honeycomb. Do I have a spot? Yes, I do. I'm going to need quite a bit. I don't know what it takes. I, I forgot how much all the resources cost. But I do know tires require honeycomb. So, let's go ahead and get started on this. Bees do not attack you. Unless that changed. everything yeah i think i got all of it definitely going to need a lot more of that in fact let me go ahead and put that down here so i can see it um uh, things i can throw away i i yeah i don't need these scrap tires I'll go ahead and throw that up there that there and i think control click shift click right click yeah there. Let's see if I can fill up those three slots with honeycomb before heading to the station, the mechanic station. This looks like something you might find some honeycomb on. Not immediately seeing any. Okay, let's just move on. I am lost. Oh, is that a chemical plant? Okay, that's good to know. Taking a mental note of that. Okay, I gotta find out where I am. I'm actually lost. I would assume that just looking around, I would have seen the road to wherever the mechanic uh, mechanic shop is. Oh, these are walks. If you feed them corn, they'll give you milk. The udders are on their head. And walk is basically cow backwards. Where's the road? I didn't think I would trail off that quickly. Oh, let's also keep looking for honey. Oh, I hear another farm bot. Oh, these aren't farm bots. Oh. <clears throat> Alright. Ooh, can't pick 
that up. That's important. Let's go ahead and drink this something shake. There we go. I think that's where we came from. Yeah, and that's okay. I know where I am again. Oh, more honey. And more of these guys. Come on, give me component kits. I like component kits. You didn't give me anything. If I have at least 10 component kits, I can get started. Yeah. With the... Oops. Um... Craft bot the moment I get to the mechanic station, which is a good start. Oh, I'm also going to need to find cotton. To me, that's less important compared to uh, the tires. But if I need a scrap seat first, or a driving seat, I can live with that. Um, where'd your arm go? Or your spine? At least I think that's its spine. Oh, man, I hear a lot of them. I don't remember fighting so many at the beginning of the game. Not that I'm complaining. Oh, there's another. Oh, I need to pay more attention. I was looking at the rocks to see if I could see honey. Might be some honey. Oh, wow. Lag spike there. I guess this game still has that issue. Um, I want to take a quick look over here where I uh, saw that chemical plant. Oh, some, uh, I think they call those farmer huts. A lot of people will rip those apart for resources. I like to keep them there. i not seeing anything. It kind of looks like it's running. Is there a... Bot over here that needs to die? Yep. Circuit board. Where is more honey? Oh, I hear another bot. Circuit board. Those bots never drop a uh, component kit. So if you're hunting component kits, crates and the hay bots would be your best. I guess farm bots too, but if you're just able to just casually start uh, farming those red bots, then you're pretty far in the game. You already know what you're doing. Yeah, I do think that those can drop one to three guaranteed every time. I might actually need the journal to find the mechanic station. Although I am not exactly looking for it right now. I'm looking for more honeycomb. But I do feel like I've trailed pretty far off that course. Oh, another uh, hey bot. Come on, hey bot. Where are you running to? Wow, it's on a mission. Oh, the cow. Or the walk. Come on, I'm right behind you. Come here. There we go. Let's 
this point I might be running into items that I want to keep. So it might be best just to get to the mechanic station and drop stuff off and then look for more honey after. Oh, I am hungry. I'll eat these carrots. I think carrots are like 50-50 as far as water and food is concerned. Nope, definitely more food. Any more honey? Anyone see a big floating gear represent the mechanic station? I hear bees. Oh, they're right here. Let's see. See if I can get up to the next one. Man, that's so useful. This one, uh, lift pretty much allows you to get anywhere you want right off the bat. But the true secret to getting around is a chair. Most people like a toilet seat. Mostly because you get them all over the place. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Something was causing me some low FPS there for a moment. Alright, but let's go ahead and really look for that uh, mechanic station now. Um, is that where the wrecked plane is? I really did a big circle if that's the case. It is. Well then. At least I know how to quickly get to the mechanic station from here. And that's just follow the road. Let's see if we run into anything else to collect our loot along the way. <laughs> Sorry, I still have somewhat of a small cough. So just down here, this should reconnect to a road. And this, oh, oh no, it's only one direction. Following this should lead me to the mechanic station. I don't know how I got all the way around there without finding the road when I think I went left first. Ooh, another uh, farm bot, hey. Leave that walk alone. You killed it. You killed the walk. How dare you? It did nothing to you. I guess it's fine. I'll probably find myself murdering a lot of them soon. Actually, that's if you're playing multiplayer. I'd probably just be using veggie burgers. Much easier to make. Uh, the survival baguettes is where uh, the walks really come in. And that's only useful if you're playing with someone else. Let's see. Oh, a survivor's... Or a farmer's hut? I don't know what they call those. I don't even know if they have official names. I could look for seeds, but I might take seeds later. For now, I just want to 
not have to deal with a full inventory. Oof. Um, what to get rid of? Guess I don't need some toilet paper. Actually, I can put the toilet paper somewhere. So it doesn't go to waste. Here. This person's selling it. Right there. I'll probably have to loot that building later, although it is tempting. Still going to collect as many component kits as possible. Yeah, another one. Ooh, I don't have room for more metal? You know, I don't really care for hardwood. Items you just throw on the ground, they got like the little bubble and they're floating, they'll despawn. Uh, if I didn't want that to despawn, what I could have done is like built it up from uh, like a lift as if I'm starting a vehicle and dropped it and it would just lay it on the ground forever. But I'd rather my world not getting cluttered up for something I don't even care to search for later. Oh, yeah, I see the mechanic station through the trees. Or at least I did. For There it is. Big wrench. Let's see. What is near? Oh, there's a warehouse. Chemicals. Usually the next thing I do after I get mechanic station is, of course, get my first vehicle. But then I like to scout the area. Sometimes, uh, if I was trying to play solo or something, and I had all the time in the world, I'd just be spawning in and running around the world until my character died of dehydration or something. And look for a place that had... Uh... Hold on. Okay. Chemical was in view range and if there's oil here right next to the mechanic station oh nope yep okay oh i wish you could save seeds that's a good start I might actually just kind of make my base around this area. I got oil. The mechanic station right here. Chemical was not too far that way. I have to build a bridge or something to it because it did look like it was across the water. And my main base could be wherever I decide to throw my crops. But for now, let's go ahead and drop this. I'm going to go ahead and stick that right here gonna put this microwave on top of it. At least I thought I was. There we go. I hear someone that wants to die. There he is. Stop making noise. Oh, he bought two. Now oh, my real question is, is how far is uh, cotton? Oh, I gotta go and get the battery. Battery is always in pod number two. I'm gonna rest here. Now I can probably die a bit more safely. Though I'd prefer not to die. I know a lot of people just don't deal with food at the beginning and they kind of abuse the the respawn mechanic where you can just keep respawning in a bed that's near you at all times. 
but I'm going to try to stay alive. Oi. Okay. Yes, that is the first thing we need. Oi. Okay. And I'm going to need one more component kit. First, let's go ahead and put this somewhere. Oops. Um, how about right here for now? Okay. Right. First, let's go ahead and see if I can get some tires. Now, there's one tire outside. So I only need three of these. Why can't I craft anymore? Oh. I'm also going to need wood. Go ahead and eat. Might as well eat at least until my water's full. Are about to be full. Alright. Another thing I wouldn't mind is this. I might actually want to make this first. It would help out a lot. Yeah, I think I'll make that first. Which means I am going to need to get some uh, glue which you can get in the water. I'm going to go ahead and throw my honeycomb in there. Now, how close is water, though? Usually it's not too far away from a mechanic station. Oh, wait, no. There's desert with oil over there. Let me check this way. I guess it's not always the case. A mechanic station could be pretty far from a body of water. Want more honey. Just because I know I'm going to need it. I hear a bot. Come at me. Those bots sometimes drop these heads, which I also want to make sure I grab. If for at least the main reason of just throwing them on the ground in a way that they'll despawn. Okay, this looks like water, I think. Yeah. Alright. Ooh. Might want to build my base right here. Maybe put up a wall from there to like over there. Farm in here. Maybe just like a big dock to park vehicles on. I like making sure my vehicles are stored in flat surfaces. For now, go ahead and get some glue. And oil. Did I just pick up four oil from one item? Ooh. Let's see if there's a gold chest down there. Oh, is that it? Okay. Sometimes those things can go really, really deep, and if they do, you can get like a gold crate or chest, and those will give you like clothing items and stuff. Which I need again. oil more 
clams. As far as I know, this is the only way to make glue. Don't know if they're going to make some way to harvest this easier. I would love some auto um, underwater vehicles, ones that are actually like designed to be underwater. I mean, when you make an underwater vehicle, it's designed to be underwater. I mean, more like the game. It's like the game means it to. Uh, like airtight containers where you can breathe in the vehicle and stuff like that. I, I want more clams and oil, so I'll stop collecting oil. Because I think... Oh no, I got more room. I need air. I really need air. Oh, I thought I was closer to the ground. Or the surface. And Okay. Wait, do you not swim up just by hitting space? Oh, you do, but slightly. Oh, one more. Oh, the oil can be stacked up to 20. That's right. And the amount of stuff you forget. Okay, that should be enough. Let's go ahead and head back to the mechanic station, which I think is that light over there. Yep. Might as well as get that claim since I can see it. Now something else I'm somewhat debating is since oil is so close by <clears throat> and I know where a chemical plant is, I don't really need to scout. And my idea for a base would be very close, so I might not need a vehicle right away. So I might wait on tires to just make the big tires. Immediately go for some kind of mining uh, vehicle. Well, no, it's always good to have a like an exploration because I am going to need more component kits and all that kind of stuff. So something to cheaply drive around in. Oh, that's right. This thing doesn't work unless you're near it. In modded Minecraft, there's a thing called a chunk litter. I really wish that was in this game. Let's see. Because... You can queue up a lot of stuff once you get this thing like upgraded, maxed out, but you'd still just have to stand there and wait for it. Because if you left, if you queued it up for some stuff and left to do it, it would be right where it was when you came back. In fact, the craft bot, I think, is the only thing with that issue. I wish the craft bot was the chunk loader. Wherever you stuck a craft bot, that lo area would stay loaded. Anyway, I wanted to make some of these, which would require some glue. Which is a consumable, I think. Nope. Is it a part? Yeah. I don't remember how many things of glue I needed. Where's the chest? There it is. Five. So I need one more. Should be able to just find it in all. There it is. I think... Hmm. Now nah, everyone's going to want to see me make a car. I'm going to work on a car. A scouting vehicle. 
because I want one of those anyway if I'm going to go for uh, component kit hunting and all that. Scavenging. I'm going to make one of those. Uh, might as well make all the glue. But for now, one of these. I'm going to want a bit more of that. I need at least six bearings for now, which I can make over here while that one's busy. Probably should have made that later. Oh, once I get that, I can put a box right here and just put all of my resources in there. And then I can just make whatever I want and it will pull from the box. The reason why I was thinking about making a second one is so I can queue things up to be made like indefinitely without having to babysit it if I create an automatic output. So I can have it make one item over and over again. But I don't want to deal with getting those resources right now until I have a car. Uh, first thing I remember is that there's a wheel out here. Um, how many wills? Oh, that's right. My honeycomb is in here. Let's see. Let's swap this out. Uh, you know, I'm not going to be farming for a bit. Even though I should. But that's better. Come on. All right. So I can just stick that right there. I'm just going to put everything in it. Oh, yeah. I got space again. Um, I will go ahead and take some food items. These I like to have on me just so I can see how much I have. Um, take No, I'm going to be crafting with that. Oh, okay. That's everything in there for now. Why? Okay, I must have put this down wrong. How about there? Yeah. So let's go ahead and I'll need one more thing of metal. Actually, I'm going to need... more because I'm also going to want to make a smaller container oh okay you know what I'll the reason why I didn't want to leave this uh, calendar is because I think it's the only one in the game I'll put the flower there anyway now I'm going to need some wood, which isn't that hard. Unless you're looking for hard wood, but I can't mine that yet. Or cut that yet. Wood is fairly easy to obtain. Just need to find a tree. But I do need to make some nicer wood. So, I... I don't know what the rate is. I wonder if it's 15 for 5. Like, no. I think the metal was 15 made 10. Yeah, 15 made 10. I wonder if that's the same with the wood. And the wood needed... Um, 15 for each tire. So, this might, one tree might do it, but I'm also going to need some more wood for, uh, the, um, 
like the car itself. All right, let's see how that does. Yeah, it's 15 and it gives 10. Let's go ahead and put that in here. I want my those. Oh, I am going to need, ah, I made a mistake. Well, I could live with that mistake, but I accidentally got rid of all my scrap metal before I had my six bearings. So I need to find a hay bot, which usually isn't that hard to do. Half the time they're finding you when you don't want them to. I see something to loot over here. Oh, I hear a hay bot. Oh, I'm hungry. Did you jump off the building? Oh, well, that was pretty stupid on your part. Must be able to jump in these. Ow. Don't hit me. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm... Oh, crap. Well, that didn't take me long to die. Yes, I know you shouldn't be sleeping in pod 2. But that rude awakening is all the more reason not to die. I might just have to fight with nothing. Almost back. When you die, your body is dropped inside of a bag. I think you can have multiple, but I'm not sure if the UI will show you... Oh, there were... Even more haybots than I thought. I'm not sure if it will show you multiple bags. Like, if you die twice in a row, I'm not sure if it will show you the original bag. I think it always just shows you the most recent. But I could be completely wrong on that. And I don't want to test that theory. Hey, where is my bag? It should be... Ah, I got over the hill somehow. I... Yeah. Yeah, this is what I'm wanting. How do you even get in there? Ooh, I had a component kit. I am noticing I am about hitting an hour now. So after I... Oh, I don't care about... Well, let me at least throw it on the ground so it, like the building's considered looted. Ooh, two component kits. I like that. Once I loot this building, I'm going to go ahead and run back to base. And I'll go ahead and start the next episode right then and there. Um, no, not from this side, I don't think. I think I get up from this side. No. Yeah, it is this side, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Don't fall off, don't fall off. There we go. Let's see any... More crates up here. Yes. Ooh, a golden one. 
don't want those. The reason I don't care about those is because they... Oh, a button. They will... Like, the chemical plant, I saw it first and I was like, oh, that's nice to see right away. Once you go there, you basically have an unlimited supply of them. So I'm not going to waste inventory space for something I can get unlimited of later. And not even going to be using right away. Same goes with the oil, but I'm going to be using that sooner than later. How do I get down? I guess I'll just jump. I did not mean to jump that far. I am glad it didn't kill me. And back to the mechanic station. All right. So I'm going to be stopping the episode here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And uh, I'm definitely going to get a vehicle worthy of scouting around the place in the next episode. And hopefully maybe even more than that. So for now, thank you and have a great day. Bye.